Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tommy T with my friend, the Spitting Lion. This is the Spitting Lion Report. And as promised in our last report, we were going to speak to you about Craigslist and Let Go. Well, Spitty and I have a whole lot of junk and we've decided that we are downsizing. So we've been selling a lot of weird items on both of those particular sites. My tip today is if you're using Craigslist or let go, I don't let those people come to my house. Spitty says, put the item in your car. And uh, as you know, we, we, we spend a lot of time driving around and I'll frequently get a call and I'll say, well, where are you located? And I say, I can meet you at so-and-so gas station or something like that. I've just found that, and not all of them, mind you, but a large portion of these people are a little strange. The thing that really, the flag that ticks me off is if I'm asking $20 for a certain item and the first thing they say is, will you take 10 bucks? That's my first clue, I'm done. So with regards to that statement, I try to price things uh, so that they'll sell very fastly and, and quickly without any hassle. And I, I always like to, I want the price that I post. Otherwise I'd be, I'm not playing the south of the border game where I've asked 50, but I'm willing to take 25. I put 25. Anyway, qualify these people before you allow them to see your residence or even know where you live. That's my thing. And Spitty's, please pardon me. Spitty says, most definitely. There are some real iffy people out there. So this is Tommy T with my friend, the Spitting Lion. And this has been the Spitting Lion Report. See you again next week.